Hello, my name is Mr Tim Kermode and it's my privilege to be Director of Music here at Solihull School. I'm here largely to talk about the co-curricular provision for music. Um, I have the honour of working with a fantastic team of staff, um, some of whom are full-time staff employed by the school, there are eight of us in that category, and we have a team of 29 visiting instrumental teachers. And between us, we deliver all the curriculum music and we deliver about 650 individual instrumental lessons per week. I'm sitting here in the recital room of the David Turnbull Music School. This building was built about 10 years ago in 2010 and is named after one of my predecessors who did an enormous amount of work to build the excitement of music in the school. And I'm thrilled to say that that continues right through to the present day. We have lots of children uh, involved in music uh, from year seven or third year group right up to the top end of the school. Some of those are on their early stages of playing an instrument and being involved in groups. Some of them are at an extremely high level. It's a very vibrant place and as I've said lots of people take part in things. Uh, we have a big range of activities, ensembles, large and small, we have orchestras, we have wind bands, big bands, we have smaller groups uh, in terms of flute choirs, clarinet choirs, string quartets, chamber groups and we have lots of provision for individuals to perform in front of their peers and in front of an audience, informal and formal. Some of our concerts take place in this recital room and some take place in the Bushel Hall, which is the home of drama, but also for assemblies and for lots of concerts. The David Turnbull Music School is a fantastic facility um, and we have 18 individual teaching rooms. We have three classrooms, one of which is kitted out with a suite of Apple Mac computers for music software composing. And we have a recording studio as well as this recital and we have a smaller ensemble room. So a fantastic facility. Five years ago, in 2015, we joined the Steinway Initiative. Steinway is a manufacturer of pianos, and for those of you that know, it's the Rolls-Royce of pianos. And we're absolutely thrilled to have three Steinway grand pianos, one of which is right by me here, one is in the Bushel Hall, and one is in our ensemble room. And the quality of playing on those instruments is world-class. And because of that, we've linked up with the European Piano Teachers Association uh, to use Solihull School as a centre of excellence for piano playing. They come and hold events here and, along with lots of other instrumental groups, we hold masterclasses with professional musicians coming into the school to extend the excitement and the work of our students. Curricular music is a busy activity. People in uh, year seven and eight, our thirds and shells, all have curricular music. It's an option in year nine and our numbers for GCSE and A-level are very healthy and our results, like the rest of the school, are extremely strong. As well as all the ensembles that meet every week, we have a series of concerts. Some of them are informal, some of them are formal. Some happen in here, some in the Bushel Hall. And we have, on average, about a concert a week. There must be over 30 concerts throughout the school year. So it's a really busy place and we love to give children the opportunity to perform in those events. As well as the instrumental groups we've spoken about, singing is very strong here at Solihull School. And we have a range of choirs, both secular and sacred. Our chapel choirs sing in our magnificent chapel, which, is, which also houses a three-manual wonderful organ. And the chapel choir consists of three groups at the moment, a senior chamber choir and then a boys and a girls younger choir. They take turns in singing services in the chapel and often they go outside school to cathedrals across the country. We've been to Gloucester Cathedral, Litchfield Cathedral, St Albans, and we have an annual visit with our chamber choir to St Paul's Cathedral in London, which is a magnificent venue and a real excitement for them to sing in there. We also take children out to perform in local venues in the town. We use some of the churches locally. We go out to uh, hospices and old people's homes and try and uh, engage music within the community. We've also run some music tours recently. We've uh, took the chamber choir to Normandy a few years ago, and then to, uh, 18 months ago, we took our chamber orchestra and chamber choir to Austria and performed in Vienna and in the surrounding areas and had a wonderful time there. And we're very keen to continue developing that side of things. Some of our students take their music up onto a really high level and we're thrilled to be able to acknowledge their skill by offering music scholarships. So we offer music scholarships for instrumentalists, for singers and for organists. 
and a number of those are very active in music in the school and also active in music outside the school, some in local festivals, but some in national organisations like the City of Birmingham Symphony uh, Orchestra, the Youth Orchestra, the City of Birmingham Symphony Chorus, the Children's Chorus, the National Youth Choir, the National Youth Orchestra, the National Children's Choir, the National Children's Orchestra. The list is long. Our children really engage with activities outside as well as inside school. Many of our children also go on to university to study music or to conservatoires, the Birmingham Conservatoire or the London Conservatoires or elsewhere in the country as well. So we have a long history of high class music making as well as engaging with all the children who want to do music at whatever level. The best way for you to find out about music is at some point to come and visit us here in the school and hear music live, come and hear one of our concerts. But if you would like to ask some more questions about what I've spoken about today, you will find my contact details on the open virtual open morning forum and we would love to hear from you so thank you for listening we'd love to hear from you and goodbye